Something you can do before you go to sleep, go to YouTube and put in some of that thunder and rain in music. I mean, thunder and rain sounds. And go to sleep to that shit. Or some nature sounds. Go to sleep to that shit. Or meditate to that shit. You have to use this vessel that you get to tap into other worlds and shit like real rap. You know how to do that shit. Young G's perspective, we always growing and developing, man. Y'all know what it is. The ones who know what it is, you know what it is. So we always upgrading, can you dig it? Indeed. As much as you can, fuck with the shorties. If you part of a family where the adults we don't fuck with the shorties, be that one uncle who fuck with, get all the shorties to take them. Get all they little ass and take them somewhere. Lay down law, show that you gonna have a good time so they can know that it's still it's gonna be some fun. But lay down law, they'll fall in place, weekend by weekend or day by day how you fuck with them. Fuck with them shorties, man. Because whatever they mom and daddy can't give them is an uncle, it's a friend of the family, or somebody who can give them what they need. You know what I'm talking about? And those people who are good in art, music, sports, fuck with the shorties, man. Fuck with the shorties. And those people in your circles who got knowledge itself, and they, they book readers, and they just know things in the know, Use them as think tanks. We need to fuck with each other, man. And we need to fill up the empty gaps among us as a group. And fuck with each other. Understand, these are the rules once again. Spiritual over physical. And logical over emotional. Get the fuck out your feelings. You a spiritual being, so that means save your feelings for your rituals. When you want certain things to happen. And if you black and melanated and on the right page, you want good things to happen for black folks. And it's, I'll be honest with you, as far as the races, you don't give a fuck about a piece of shit racist because a racist is trying to stop you from thriving. So why would you give a fuck about something stopping you from thriving? That's what we got to stop doing, stop being apologetic to cock-sucking piece of shit motherfuckers and call them what they is and let that energy that need to go to their ass go to their ass. Mm. Stop trying to save their ass and say, oh, they didn't mean it. Fuck all of that. <laughs> they really meant that shit. Fuck you mean. They conspire to mean shit. Right. So fuck them. Right. Man, all that old hee hee on, it's okay, I love them still. I don't love my fucking enemy. I'm not supposed to. Fuck out of here. Right. And I'm gonna get this analogy about the tiger. When you walk in the tiger's little area where he at, he gonna eat your whole asshole clean off. <laughs> you gonna be void of an asshole fucking with a, with a tiger because he gonna eat it off. And he not gonna feel on type of way that he eating it off. Right. He said, oh, what you, you walking over where I'm at? You must wanna get fucked up. This is why I be at. You got to fuck up out of here. He not going to ask you. He just going to bite your ass off. And then you going to know. If, you in the room. You right. right. The tiger. <laughs> if he hungry and and, and, your, and and you tasty, he's going to devour your ass. You're going to be his meal. That's just how that go. Now, do he feel a type of way about that? He ate your whole ass for dinner? No, he going to be like, mm, that was good. I wanted another one. Them my folks going to come around so I can get a snack. That's what he going to say. He don't live by this dumb ass rule of if he come in my area, I love him cause I got love me, so I ain't gonna kill him. Nah, he thinking about his self-preservation. Who the fuck is you? I got to eat your whole ass if you come over here. Right. Because I roll, I, I, I roll alone. <laughs> you don't see no pack of tigers. You see a pack of lions, but you don't see no pack of tigers. Right. That nigga roll solo. He a bad motherfucker. That's just how that go. I'm saying that to say, that's what you are. Why do you keep forgiving your fucking oppressor? And I don't mean jump out of goddamn trunk, up a car and just start shooting. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about understanding who you are and then you'll understand how to spiritually jump out of a car and start shooting. Spiritually though. That's what they don't want you to do. That's why they always attacking your psyche, your mind, your brain lying to you because they know that's where the real fight at. We'll make that motherfucker hard stop people. That's real rap. They don't want you to know that though. Uh, for my religious people who watching, who want a little bit of information so they can understand what's cracking, 
Google the Council of Nicaea. That's when they put the Bible together. The Council of Nicaea. N-I-C-E-A. Council of Nicaea. Okay? And then study the Spanish Inquisition when they was killing people in the name of Christianity. If they wouldn't convert, they would just kill them and murder them and cut babies out of women's belly and stomp the head and all that. Look up the Spanish Inquisitions. Okay? Mm -hmm. Look that up. Those are for the people who like, man, well, how did it all start? How old is religion? And, huh? You'll find all that out studying that. We like to drop them them seeds on Young G's perspective, okay? We all about growing and developing. I want to reiterate that. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I like chopping it up, brother, because I always learn something. You know what I mean? And um, you always teaching, brother. Oh, love. You know what I mean? Love. You're always teaching, man. And, and, and it's good to absorb, you know what I mean? Just absorb information. And like you say, if it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah, let your soul. You shouldn't man. even be, you know what I mean? Like, like it, nobody's force feeding truth. Information, for sure. You know what I mean? Nobody's force feeding truth. Mm -hmm. And like you say, you know, I like that you put the energy out there just to let the young people know and let them understand that you have more power than their China. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I believe that the drug, uh, the casual drug, has become synthetic. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it used to just be, you know, you blow your little green, Man. have you a sip or whatever, but now it has a, a, a drug, you know what I mean? Induce feel like? Like, pills, oh, yeah. syrup. And, and that's all drugs is directed towards our youth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's promoted in song. And I'm not saying don't pop your pill and don't drink your syrup. But what I'm saying is once you understand who you are, you'll do, you know, you'll drop the <laughs> pills and don't drink the syrup. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And look at it like this, man. That's real. But, you know, you know, it ain't, it ain't no but. That's real. And the thing about it is you are a natural ass nigga. Your nose is wide like that. Your hair is nappy like that. You could dance like that. You can come up with raps and songs like that. You can memorize shit quick as hell like that. This is because of your DNA. So, are you going to put something inside your body that's not as natural as your ass is? You put something in the dirt, give it some sunlight and some motherfucking water, that shit going to grow with whatever the seeds cold was. Mm -hmm. So, when you ingest that, you be all good, but you ingest some concentrated, I mean, some um, synthesized 